remember just about a year ago, that was somewhere on the 1st of September in the year 2015, Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority took over their core function of inspection, valuation and risk management in the port. Now, prior to that, about five private companies were undertaking this particular job. So a lot of people were skeptical that whether indeed Customs will be able to do this at all. Indeed, one year after, Customs is getting a lot of applause from the stakeholders within the port and maritime industry because together with their uh, private or IT partner or technical partner, West Blue Consulting, Customs has had one year, successful one year so far in implementing the National Single Window. So a year on, they decided to celebrate this and also launch a manual, a standardized guide to continue to improve on the National Single Window Project. President John Mahama has launched the Ghana Import, Export and Transit Processes Manual, which will provide a legal framework for the smooth implementation of the Ghana National Single Window and make it conform to international standards and practices. The launch, which was done along with the marking of one year successful implementation of the initial phases of the Ghana National Single Window, revealed that trade facilitation in Ghana has been enhanced with 57% increase in the volume of goods processed in the Customs Technical Services Bureau. The Ghana Single Window is a particularly positive development for international trade operations and helping us to achieve our vision of a diversified economy, effective revenue collection, and deploying a transparent process to support our approach to good governance policies. The president noted that steps taken towards trade facilitation in the country have made Ghana a favorable destination for foreign investment. We will remain a favorable investment destination in Africa and will continue to attract massive foreign direct investments. The Minister of Finance, Seth Tekwe, said the national single window has led to an increase in revenue generation and customs trade procedures. We have also revamped all the tax laws, not just the customs law. Indeed, the Income Tax Act, which was a 2000 uh, act, has been revamped. The VAT Act, which is a 1998 act, has also been revamped and modernized. They never used to exist an excise act because they were buried in the then sales tax and later the VAT and customs act. We do have today an excise act which has lent clarity. The Commissioner General of the Ghana Revenue Authority said the introduction of the pre-arrival assessment reporting system pass has led to the reduction of cost of doing business in Ghana. Transfer from the DICs of the core customs functions of valuation, classification, and risk management back to GRA Customs Division deserves celebration for more than one reason. In the first place, it provided opportunity for the adoption of a superior technology and approach to performance of these functions. The Deputy Minister of Trade and Industry, Mohamed Mutela, said the early stage of the national single window has reduced the cost of doing business to more than 25%. Sadly and unfortunately, we live in a part of the world that time is not part of cost of production. And if you calculate the amount of time that importers and exporters would spend at the ports and begin to quantify it in monetary value, you would realize that single window has helped to reduce costs not less than 25%. The president of the Association of Ghana Industries, James Asaria J, said the association had so far been impressed with implementation of the Ghana National Single Window Project on account of the reduction of delays. So far, we are impressed with the achievements made. The pre-arrival assessment reporting system has reduced the time of import classification and valuation. Adding his voice to the successes chalked so far by the Ghana National Single Window Project, the president of Ghana Institute of Freed Forwarders, Gev Kwabna Ofosuapia, said the National Single Window Project has brought immense relief to players in the clearance chain. The shot in the arm of the Single Window Project, under your watch, gives us hope and excitement that, alas, we have been given tools of comparable stature to those used anywhere in the advanced world and within a predictable environment. 
So it's not just launching that standardized manual and also uh, celebrating uh, the national single window. Customs also admit that they haven't arrived yet, that there's a lot more to do. Uh, marking that one year, it, they see it as an infant, infant stage. But, you know, whether you are one year old, two year old, three year old, even though you hope to turn like 100 years old, you still mark your birthday. So Customs decided to mark that birthday. However, they admit that there is a lot more they need to do. One of the things they have just done is to, is to launch an e-zone uh, electronic customer service uh, point where a lot of people can access information free without charge. The Customs Division of the Ghana Revenue Authority, GRA, and its technical partner, West Blue Consulting, have commissioned two electronic zone facilities at the Kotuka International Airport, KIA, and Temaport. The e-zone facilities were set up as part of the Ghana National Single Window Project, will provide 24-7 state-of-the-art customer services to exporters and importers in the country. The e-zone will offer face-to-face -face personalized service to the trading community, such as payments, knowledge centers and self-service terminals. The CEO of West Blue Consult, Valentina Minta said, the Ghana National Single Window Reform Program is a journey whose ultimate objective can only be achieved through the collaboration of governments and businesses. The Ghana's Trade Information Portal, which can be found at www.ghanastradinghub.gov.gh, is achieving up to 10,000 hits per month with views from our trading partners, including Uganda, United Kingdom, United States, Ukraine, etc. The Commissioner of Customs Division said the establishment of the e-zone facilities are efforts to improve client service delivery and most importantly give taxpayers a user-friendly avenue for tax administration. The establishment of the e-zone facility at the Kotoka International Airport with the state of the art facilities such as payment points, self service terminals, regulatory agency inquiry points, multimedia trade information points, among other online portals, is yet another initiative for the improvement of service delivery. Other speakers lauded the Ghana National Single Window Project and thus far it has come with much hope with the right conditions. It will be able to eventually reduce the cost and time of doing business at Ghana sports and borders of entry and exits to facilitate trade. The National Single Window Journey is bringing together all parts of the global trade business that before was scattered or fragmented. Now it's harmonized. Doing business in Ghana will now be easier. The cost of doing business will be easier. With this e-zone implementation, we would help to reduce the time spent in having our goods cleared for I think about, uh, about 15%. I mean international, the overall reduction in the administrative time and cost trading internationally by 50% and 25% respectively.